the U.S. Special Operations Command and DARPA have teamed up to field a real-world version of the Quinjet from the Marvel Avenger movies. And if you're not familiar with the Quinjet, it's a tactical jet aircraft that can take off and land vertically using propellers mounted in the wings. And that is basically exactly what DARPA's SPRINT program aims to field. In this case, SPRINT is a very forced acronym for Speed and Runway Independent Technologies. Now, just about a week ago, we got our first look at a render out of this program produced by Aurora Flight Sciences, who will be competing with three other aviation firms for a follow-on contract to move into prototyping. Now, the other firms competing are Northrop Grumman, Bell, and Pieski Aircraft, though we haven't seen their designs quite yet. And what's very interesting about this design from Aurora of flight sciences is the use of a blended wing body or BWB design. Now, blended wing body aircraft have some distinct advantages over traditional aircraft designs. And what separates them from traditional aircraft is a BWB platform has no distinct delineation between the fuselage and the wings. It's all sort of one big shape, as you can see here. Now, this design comes with improved aerodynamic efficiency, a significantly improved internal capacity for personnel, fuel, or cargo, and even a reduced radar return than you'd get from more conventional aircraft designs. But up until recently, this sort of science fiction looking approach to aircraft design just wasn't feasible for mass production. But thanks to modern material science, we are rapidly approaching a world where a whole lot of aircraft use blended wing body designs just like this. Now, DARPA's Sprint program aims to field an aircraft that can take off and land vertically, hover over unprepared areas, as they explained, and can achieve speeds of between 400 and 450 knots, which shakes out to around 460 to 520 miles per hour, which is about 100 miles per hour faster than the tilt rotor aircraft V-22 Osprey. In other words, this aircraft really would blend the best of both worlds between rotor craft and jets, taking off and landing vertically without a runway and very rapidly before taking off under jet power to fly at high subsonic speeds and evade being shot down. And this could be particularly valuable for getting special operations units into and out of a near peer fight, especially because blended wing body designs lend themselves to stealth. Now, as you can tell by this rough looking render, we're in the very early days of DARPA's sprint program, but this is not the only blended wing body design concept out there floating around. In January of this year, Boeing proposed a similar aircraft design for their next generation and far stealthier tanker aircraft. And the truth is, we'll probably see a lot more blended wing body designs come out in the not too distant future. But for now, this very unique concept with four internally stowed propellers to allow this BWB aircraft to take off and land like a helicopter while still flying like a tactical jet really stands out from other publicly disclosed developmental programs.